What is the melting point trend for group 17, the halogens? I've listed the halogens here, including one that was discovered not too long ago, and I've only seen on a few periodic tables so far. Don't worry about that, I just included it because I'm a nerd. Fluorine has a melting point of negative 220, chlorine negative 101, and you'll notice that the melting points are increasing as the size of the atom increases. Why is that? Well, the structure of a halogen molecule is for the two atoms to be bonded to each other, and then that's it. There's no macro structure. They can be attracted to other F2 molecules or Cl2 molecules or Br2 molecules through intermolecular forces. But overall, there's nothing holding this F2 molecule to that F2 molecule. To break these apart and melt a structure of solid fluorine, you only have to overcome the intermolecular forces that exist between one molecule and another. In addition, the strongest intermolecular force between these two is a very weak one called London dispersion forces. London dispersion forces are very temporary dipoles that exist only because the electrons can be found anywhere within the molecular orbitals of the molecule. So, how easy is it to overcome these London dispersion forces? Generally, very easy, especially for small molecules like F2. London dispersion forces are stronger for larger atoms. Stronger for larger atoms and thus molecules. Now it actually has to do with the polarizability of the molecule, but let's not worry about that. Let's just worry about straight up size. I2 is bigger than F2, therefore it has a higher melting point because it has stronger London dispersion forces. And that's it. The boiling points of these also follow this trend for the exact same reason. In order to boil a sample of F2 or Br2, you need to overcome all of the London dispersion forces. And the larger the molecule is, the tougher that will be as well. All right, that's it for group 17. Best of luck.